Ah, hello everyone, here we go again. Another package delivered to my front door this afternoon. This is what is definitely something that I would consider a project. I'm not, I haven't got high hopes for this. You know, I've opened a lot of vacuum cleaners that I've been absolutely thrilled with. I bought them secondhand and they've, after a bit of a polish, they've looked almost new. This particular Hoover has had a very hard life, a lot of repairs and spares are very difficult to get. I've got a few spares which I'll show you in this video but as far as body parts goes, wheels, replacement bag, no no no, I've tried everywhere. Anyway let's get this open, it's a Hoover Turbo Master soft bag. Now naturally I used to own one of these from brand new so this is going to be a bit of a disappointment and uh, it was one of those cleaners that was culled in the 1990s. Another terrible regret, but what can you do? And these are very hard to get hold of. And Turbo Masters in particular, any Turbo Master, you don't see them very often on eBay anyway. You see more Turbo Powers than Turbo Masters. So this is the bottom of the line. Turbo Master, and I think there was only one one generation of this on initial launch. Hoover launched three Turbo Master cleaners: this soft bag version, a hard bag version, which was more or less the same as the soft bag but with a hard bag, and the U5080 Deluxe with the automatic cord rewind and electronic speed control. And then very soon after the initial launch of the three, they introduced the total systems. And then finally there was the Freedom version, the bagless version. So this is quite rare, it didn't have a long run because I think Hoover only ended up in their range with just the total system models towards the end of the run, which wasn't very long, not like the turbo powers that did seem to run for ages. I'm wondering if the Hoover Pure Power has beaten the turbo power now for a length, length of time they've been on the market. So, it's been well packed because this is very fragile. What I think I'll do folks, because it has been so well packed, I will unpack it off camera and we'll have a closer look and see what I've bought. Well folks, here's the Hoover Turbo Master soft bag in kit form. And the eagle-eyed of you will see that it's not the correct colour. This has gone a very strange shade of green and I'm not even sure that uh, any amount of retro brighting will bring it back to the colour that it should be, which is more or less this colour here, this blue colour. can't remember what Hoover called this colour. So it's strange that it's changed so much. But all in all, it's not as bad so far as I, was, as I was expecting. It does have, obviously, let me, let me point out the things that are wrong so far. Well, it's a little thing, but it's got a replacement lever here to control the height control. That should be the same blue. Possibly it would have turned green anyway. It might have stayed blue because the, you can see the carpet height control, the hard floor and carpet set, 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 uh, selector is the same color as it should have been. Ooh, that'll need, that'll need work. The uh, handle release Levo is the same color. So, right, yes, also I've noticed this is the tool conversion. And in my experience, because I've had all, well, nearly all the Turbo Masters from brand new, from, from factory fresh, I always preferred the non-tools attached machines. I, I think they lost a bit of suction, even when in upright mode. I, it, they always seemed it didn't seal the suction so well. I'm sorry, there's a little child screaming outside. Um, now, so this is the tool conversion. That, pressing down here, should open this up, but it's not moving at the moment, so um, that obviously needs looking at. Now I do have, but I'm not sure whether it needs it, I have managed to source. One of the few spares you can still buy. 
on eBay is the nozzle plate assembly, which is this part here. But looking at it after a clean, I don't think I need to fit that, but I've got one anyway. The brush roll looks okay. But I'm going to have to open this up a little bit for you because I need to see why the tool mechanism isn't popping up as it should. I have got a new complete agitator for it, but it's not a genuine, it's a Qualtex. I think I've got a genuine one somewhere, but I'm not sure if it needs it with those brushes. What it probably will need is at least one of these two belts. It comes in a pack of two. I'll replace both belts just before I try this machine out. It's got a toothed belt that fits on the agitator and also a wider belt that fits on the pulley. This is how this can be used for hard floors because you can turn off the brush roll. It's got the same motor, it's not a separate brush roll motor. All the switch does on the top is move the belt over to a pulley system to stop the uh, brush roll rotating and that also works when the machine is upright. I've uh, also got a new bulb, I'm not sure which one. I don't know if these are going to work. I've just got these yesterday. One's a warm white and one's a cool white. These are G9 capsule bulbs. So I'm going to see if they'll actually work to uh, replace the genuine Hoover ones. Although I do have some genuine Hoover ones if they don't work. Okay, I'll just get my screwdriver. I need to undo two screws here to remove the nozzle plate and then some more screws to remove the motor hood. A little bit uh, of rust on the screws as well. I think I've got some screws that I can use salvaged from a Hoover turbo power if they're the same size. Now this might uh, not want to come off straight away. Oh no, that's fine. Right. Well, it's got a Qualtex belt, but that, that looks fine. I'm not going to swap the belts yet. And the other belt looks okay. You can still buy belts. See, genuine pack. I bought these this week on eBay. I've got quite a lot in stock. But uh, while they're available, I, I bought some more. So that's fine. Now there is a mechanism. Now it does actually move. It obviously needs lubricating. I do have a brand new motor for this. Well, I think it's a refurbished motor. But it's certainly... Well, we'll see what it's like when I turn this on, but I have a new motor I can put in this. That's that's struggling. So um, I'll have to look at that. Okay, let's see if we can get the hood off because I'll want to replace the headlight bulb, which definitely will need replacing. I can't see it working. Now, is that just two? Oh, are there some more? Hmm. I think there are some. I'm going to have to get this screwdriver. It's not going to fit down there, is it? No. I'm going to have to get a Phillips screwdriver because I think... Or is it? Is it four screws to remove? I think it is. I do have an instruction book somewhere. I think I do have to remove, yeah. I think there's two more screws here I need to undo. Okay, well I bought my tool bag because the worst thing you can do is run upstairs Get the screwdriver you think is correct and find out it isn't so now there we go i think this one this one might do it yes so i think it's four unless there's any hidden under the belt another one here and some of my neighbors have decided to have a socially distanced distanced meeting outside so if you can hear any gossiping, that's uh, that's my neighbours. So yes, there we go. And underneath, yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, I don't know. It's not too bad. It could do with washing and hand washing, and then a bit of a glue gun maybe on that part. So that that is more the colour, really. That's right because it was a two tone. So it's uh, it, this light blue and then the slightly darker. So while, while I've got the hood, we can have a look here at the rating sticker. We can date this machine, I think, from this. 
OK, so this is Hoover model U4362, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 575 watts. The serial number is U4362803012 which I think makes this from March 1988. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but I believe the 8 does refer to you don't know the decade so you have to have a bit of knowledge so it's certainly not 78 or 98 so it has to be from 88 trademarks of Hoover PLC made by Hoover PLC Great Britain okay so here's the familiar turbo power turbo master style motor I'm not sure what difference there was in between these motors obviously this uh, has a higher wattage than the standard turbo powers from this period now it has got a replacement bulb tiny tiny one that does look fine but I'm going to try just for just to see if I can use one of these LEDs I'll just put that to one side so I think this has been looked at recently because if this hadn't been touched I would have expected that bulb to be covered in dust and blown now I've got two styles one is a warm white which is that one and one is a cool white so I'm going to try a cool white this might be too big because it is much much bigger than the little original type bulb I'm just desperately searching looking around for oh it doesn't matter I don't need it this might be too tall this might be okay if it was put this way on in the machine ah oh, but look at the t <laughs> look at the size difference between those two and now looking at it I don't see how it's going to fit it's not going to, it's not going to fit folks so that was a waste although I do have some lamps at uh, on my ceiling that fit those bulbs so we'll put that one back I thought they would fit somehow but they don't here's the tool conversion doobry and ah now is that why I think it's because folks and I didn't realize that that was the case ah you can only open the tool conversion with the handle in the upright position so that's fine it's all a bit stiff this this is going to be you know a proper proper fully stripping down job this um, I'll get it looking better and working better even if I just have to put the new motor in that I've got I'll put the new motor in um, well I'm not going to know what this is going to sound like really until until I use it it does seem to have new bellows just here but I do have several packs of brand new bellows but I think that's been replaced it looks too clean it's I think it's been given a bit of a clean up but nothing too major and mm, I don't know whether this doesn't look well, it's putting dirty marks on my carpet this doesn't look quite like it should I think the suppressor has been removed I've never had s problems so much with suppressors on the Hoover uprights it tends to be the cylinder ones that um, although yes I've had a Hoover Senior that the suppressor went but I've never known a suppressor go on a turbo power or turbo master in my experience but I think that's been done looks looks a bit strange to me okay folks well I think the light may work so I'll just pop the cover back on and then assemble the handle and we'll switch this Hoover turbo master on for the first time well the first time I'll be switching it on anyway okay well that's everything back together it's now time to assemble the handle I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been in this many pieces when it was new I seem to remember having to screw in the top part of the handle but the bag was certainly attached now I haven't shown you the bag in detail that's another massive problem well it's not massive it is a problem now where where are the screws are ah, where are the screws folks I don't know where the screws are for this so I thought they'd been strapped somewhere I'll put the handle in position I'm not sure if 
Yeah, I think the bag should go on. So this is how it would have been packed with a handle sort of like this, but the lower handle would have been fastened to the machine. So I just need to put this into position like that, but there are no screws showing. Oh, tape, so I'm gonna to have to go through all that filthy packaging. Ah, no, hang on. I think they're inside the dust bag. Right, I'll just push it down a bit more because it's not lined up. You can see the colour change, can't you, there? Right, okay. I'll just get the screws and there's a screw to put in here and a screw at the bottom. Okie dokie, well I've got the bag on as well as I can. I mean there's I think I've put the screws in the right place, although one of the screws I couldn't get in, so I'm not forcing it. It'll be okay for now. I'm sure I've got uh, service uh, details for these machines somewhere. This does have an air freshener, and I can't remember how you access it. It's situated here, but I can't remember how. There's not one in there. I can't remember how you put it in. Did you just slot it in? I don't think it's... I don't think I can access it from the top, or can you? Hmm, does, that does move. I'll, I'll check my instructions. I've got, I'm sure I've got some. Maybe not for the soft bag version though. So anyway, that's where the round Hoover air freshener goes when you have one. And we've got a slightly used bag. It's one of these for your home H18 type bags that I use. But this is obviously being used a bit, but it'll do for the initial switch on. So, you know, I'm not kidding when I say this is a this is a proper refurbishment job needed. The bag, now if I could find a new bag, that would be brilliant. It's going to need cleaning. It'll wash up quite well. Whether this Hoover Roundel will survive the washing process, I'm not sure, but it has to be washed. I'm I'm going to sacrifice that to get this bag looking cleaner. It's got a bit of an odd situation with the bag because you can see at the top this rigid part and this is more the colour it should be certainly the part of the cleaner anyway this should be you can see how green the handle is just there now this is the this is this supports the bag this makes the bag rigid and it's sprung loaded like that so the bag which has a big rip in it which I knew about it sort of goes over the top of that and then you do the zip up now if this looks a bit familiar to you if you're watching this in the States you did get this model in the USA uh, but it was called the Hoover Innovation but it was in a much nicer burgundy color scheme you also got a hard bag version which was in a cream and brown and I think your hard bag version did have automatic cord rewind but not the electronic control the bag is better than I expected it to be. Now here, here is the main problem with the bag, as we can see here, look. But it's all there. Now, before I, well, after I won this, I went on to Amazon and purchased some more or less color, well, it will match the color uh, when this is cleaned, but I remembered the color of the bag new. So I've got this iron-on patch that I should hopefully be able to gently iron on from the reverse of this I mean it's about this size so that hopefully will cover that up unless by a miracle I manage to find a replacement bag somewhere you never know if we're allowed to go out exploring ever again next time I go in my caravan and visit somewhere that might have an old electrical shop I'll visit that electrical shop and just see what they've got it worked <laughs> when I went to Keswick, I managed to get lots of bits. We can see the air freshener, just here, the air freshener control at the bottom of the bag. But again, like all adjustable air freshener controls on Hoover cleaners, they'd made absolutely no difference what setting you had it on. But in theory, there's a larger rose symbol here and a smaller one, so in theory, when this little lever is at this side, it's supposed to emit more fragrance than if it was at that side, but you wouldn't be able to detect any difference. I just kept it in the middle like that.
Actually, we'll just have another look. No, the air freshener doesn't just slot in there because I can see a spindle. So that top part I showed you earlier must come off somehow. I don't want to force it. And you must have to drop the air freshener in from the top and not just slot it in. So I suppose that's possibly where the fragrance came out of. So it's a bit creaky, isn't she? A bit creaky. You might be able to see Daisy behind. She's finding the whole thing very, very exciting. She's seen it all before. So on the back of the machine, there is a carry handle here and a lower fixed cord hook. Now this is the screw I haven't been able to get in, so I'm leaving it for now in case I've got the wrong screw. So there's a fixed lower hook, which is intact, pretty strong. And also, creak, creak. We do have a single switch, single speed this is, switch top hook that you can turn down so I think I've shown you ooh, everything I can I suspect this is going to sound very loud and awful but I do have a new motor refurbished motor that will fit this machine so I can put that in one last thing to show you before I try this machine out is this now turbo master cleaners are pretty rare to buy now certainly on eBay where I look but the cleaning toolkit is equally rare for these machines I managed to find this on eBay recently the seller didn't know what it was he knew it was a Hoover adapter of some sort because it has Hoover printed on it and when I saw that I knew that that because of the shape was for a turbo master so if you can't buy a set of cleaning tools for turbo master all you need to find is this piece because the rest of the tools that you could buy for the Turbo Master were the same as the Turbo Power tools. I don't think it came with any extra tools like the Senior. I think it just came with a double stretch hose, a single extension wand, all purpose nozzle, crevice nozzle and dusting brush in plastic. Even the wand was plastic, everything was plastic. So to use this for cleaning tools, one would make sure the cleaner was in the upright position and then you'd press down on the back of the tool conversion and you'd push that in and let that drop down slightly and obviously there would be the normal hoover double stretch hose so as i said just you can buy a hoover turbo power toolkit on ebay very easily at the moment they're 10 a penny and it has the same fitting it has the same two square holes that fit this so this is all you need to find but finding one of those again <laughs> Good luck with that. I was lucky to find that one on eBay. Right, well, I've done everything I can do for now. I think I'll raise the height, plug this Turbo Master in and see if she runs. Now, if the belt shifting mechanism is working correctly, then the agitator shouldn't rotate. Right, okay, let's see. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, folks. Well, that, surprisingly, doesn't sound too bad at all. Oh dear, what a mistake I made with these socks, thinking they would match. Well, they might have matched <laughs> the cleaner originally, when it was new out of the box. Okay, I'll switch it off now, the uh, handle. So, whoops, so it didn't seem to, uh, I couldn't hear the agitator going. Oh, you're very creaky. Now, when I had this model from brand new, obviously it was working perfectly, had full suction, everything was fine. What you can do with these machines, because they're, they're more bottom heavy than top heavy, you couldn't do this with the hard bag version, but with the soft bag version, you can lower the handle to the operating position so the agitator comes on, turn it on, and then let it go on your carpet, and it would, it would whiz along on its own. I'm not sure if this old girl will, especially not on this carpet. Okay, I'm going to uh, turn the cleaner on again and we'll just check that the brush roll isn't moving. That does sound surprisingly good. Oh, it smells. Right, now, hopefully, 
Now it's in the operating position. I'll have to turn it round for this. Hopefully we should see the brush roll going round. Well, yes, the brush roll goes round and the brush roll stop mechanism does work, but it obviously it does need stripping down and greasing up and everything. It was very stiff. But, and I think when I, I did detect, I think I saw some sparks, you know, coming. I don't know. Let me just have another quick look at the back. Yeah, Ooh. yeah it's a bit noisier. It's a bit creakier with the, um, with the brush roll in action. Okay, well, it is a bit dirty, but I'm going to push it over my carpet. If it makes a mark, I'll just get a bit of SIBO Duo P powder and get rid of that way it has it has dropped a bit of mess on the carpet but I'm gonna try it on actually setting three So there you go, that's the unboxing and first look at this very rare, I think it is, very rare Hoover Turbo Master soft bag upright cleaner. Marvellous, much more pleased with it than I ever expected to be. But as you can see, she does need a fair bit of work, but less work than I really expected to have to do. It's a shame about the fading. I should be able to clean this up a bit and polish it at least but to change this back to the original color I don't think I don't think that's feasible somehow anyway if you have any comments or questions about this lovely 80s upright cleaner from Hoover please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video don't forget to subscribe and thumb up follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well bye for now